What's well, going on everybody? Come back. Gonna talk about a new little item I picked up for camping this fall. And I kind of alluded to it last week's video. this video don't forget i've got a leatherman giveaway going on at the end of the video there will be the little video that you can click on and go watch that and get entered but let's get on with this video well, it's going on, everybody how's my outdoor crew doing i hope this video finds you well so when i did the uh, tunnel cover video i alluded to that i was taking the firewood out of my truck now i will say this there is nothing better than an actual campfire at camp um at night i mean you just you just can't you know the ambiance and all that but it has some drawbacks and some people are not a fan of the smoke some people are not a fan of the smell it leaves in your clothes and everything else and of course then you've got the ash if you're using your own little fire pit or whatever camping then you also run into those situations like uh, you can have burn bans like you get out in California or out west quite a bit. We've had a couple this year already ourselves. And so when you have burn bans, you can't have that campfire. Now, what I ran into at our last camping trip, which was the YouTuber meetup, well, our last big camping trip was the YouTuber meetup, is where I had to put my tent in the campsite I couldn't have a campfire because the tent was right beside and when I say right beside you could punch through the tent and hit the fire pit so I was without having a fire all weekend in my campsite and we had the campfire in Danny's campsite on Friday night Saturday night everybody was so tired we could care less we just went to bed but if I had wanted to have a warming fire if it had been a cooler night I wouldn't have been able to have that or the next morning have a warming fire if it had been a cool morning to warm up by. Well, I have solved that issue. Okay, so you see what I'm replacing my firewood with. This is the Outland Living Fire Bowl 893 Deluxe. So this is a complete kit minus your propane tank. You'll have to get your own tank. Um, what I'm thinking about doing or the direction I'm thinking about going with it is just get a 10 pound cylinder. Uh, that way I can run it off of run this off of that 10 pound cylinder and that'll last me several days uh, I mean the most I'm going to be going camping right now probably three nights at the most maybe four nights just depends on what happens with Daniel Boone but I would have this to rely on for a good warming fire at night now it comes with the carry handle as you see right here this unit weighs 23 pounds the way she sits with rocks and everything in it it is all powder coated steel so you know that the steel is going to the paint's not just going to fall off you do have to light it with a lighter you cannot light it with it doesn't have an igniter built in is what i'm trying to say no big deal you know as long as you got matches you know or lighter with you which i always have with me for cooking and everything um makes a good deal it comes with this lid that goes over top of everything and this strap that buckles down on it so let me get that off so you can see on the inside of the pit now let me go ahead and throw the price out there right now normally it's 149.99 on amazon they actually have it on special for 126 i think I picked it up on Prime Day for $99. Could not pass that up. Could not pass it up. It was between it and one other thing that I was looking at that I really want between now and time to head out to Daniel Boone. So hang on a second, I'll get the top off. Well, actually, I'll show you how the top comes off. But basically, you pull these, these little clips off. They just clip under the bottom of the bowl like so. Now, as you see, I have not fired this thing up yet. 
I will be firing it up soon. But here in Tennessee, you know, it's 100 degrees outside. I don't feel like a fire. But anyway, a little strap that goes with it. And then it has its own little lid that comes with it too. This lid comes with it. And then once you see it, there's your bowl, your lava rocks, and everything inside of it. It all comes with these rocks. Tells you how to place them in there. Um, and then you just light it up and you got a campfire. I really like that option. Um, it has a 10 foot long hose. It's a regulated hose. Um, so it only lets in the amount of gas that this thing requires. But uh, anyway, I really look forward to using this. You'll see more on this thing as we uh, start camping with it. Um, I could have used this even at um, um, Edgar Evans when I was staying on that deck because it does sit up off the deck quite a bit. Um, you know, it's um, California approved for deer and fire bands. So we know, you know, it's safe to use and you're not going to catch anything on fire. So anyways, guys, you'll see more of this coming down the pike as we're doing our camping and stuff. Now I will say I bought this extra. I did buy a carry bag for it. This is it. Um, it has a neat little pocket right here. You can probably keep some regulators and other things if you need to. Um, I figure keeping an extension hose over to the um, to my uh, cook stove when I'm cooking on it. That would be a good place for that. But uh, the bag I paid a little. I bought it separate from the, the fire pit itself. But that's what I'm doing. That's how I'm taking care of that issue of not being able to use the fire pit in the campsite. Okay, so you never know what you're going to be dealt with with a campsite. I mean, you can look at pictures online and think, okay, I've got a general idea how this is going to work. Get there and no, it's not going to work that way. Uh, that's happened to me several times over the years that, you know, look at the campsite. Fall Creek Falls, we thought that was going to be an awesome campsite. We get there and it's like this. I mean, we were sleeping on the side of a hill, so we slept head up, so that way our everything didn't run through our brains at one time in the middle of the night. But you never know what you're going to be dealt with, and this is the second time I've been somewhere and I couldn't have a campfire per se. Now, would it have been a problem while we were camping at the YouTuber meetup? No, it really never got that chilly uh, at night. But the weekend I was at um, Edgar Evans, it was it was pretty chilly that morning that would have been nice to have sitting there on the deck beside me while i was eating breakfast so anyways guys that's what i've done i've gone with the outland fireball the model number that i got was the 893 it's a 58,000 btu fireball so it does put off some heat it puts off some pretty serious heat that's it for this one guys i hope you appreciate it uh if you have any questions about it let me know um i do know you there may be an adapter where you can run the little one pound cylinders but i doubt they'd last very long on one of these things so anyways that's it for this one guys i appreciate you watching be prepared see you on the next one